Hi, my name is Dr. Sian Abdi, and I'm a proud member of the Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology here at Johns Hopkins. I wanted to take a moment today to discuss the importance of colon cancer screening. Colorectal cancer is the fourth most commonly diagnosed cancer in the U.S., and it is the second leading cause of cancer death. Regular screening is the key to preventing colorectal cancer and finding it early. Recently, more individuals under the age of 50 are being diagnosed with colon cancer. So in 2018, the American Cancer Society lowered the recommended age for screening from 50 to 45 years of age for people at average risk. And for African Americans like me, we are at higher risk for colon cancer than any other racial or ethnic group in the United States. African Americans are about 20% more likely to get colorectal cancer and about 40% more likely to die from colorectal cancer than any other group. So it is extremely important that we get screened for colorectal cancer. Most people should begin screening for colorectal cancer soon after turning 45. Then they'll continue to get screening at regular intervals. However, you may need to be tested earlier than 45 if you have a history of inflammatory bowel disease, such as Crohn's or ulcerative colitis, a personal or family history of colorectal cancer or high-risk colorectal polyps, or if you have a genetic syndrome, such as familial adenoidous polyposy or hereditary non-polyposy colorectal cancer, also called Lynch syndrome. If you have any of these high-risk features, you will likely need to get a colonoscopy earlier than age 45. Now, there are different options for colon cancer screening, and your doctor can help select the right test for you. I categorize testing into two groups, non-invasive stool testing and directly looking at the colon. Now, there are three types of stool testing. The guaiac-based fecal occult blood test. This is done yearly and checks your stool for the presence of blood. Or the FIT test, which uses antibodies to detect blood in the stool and is also done yearly. And lastly, there is a combined FIT or DNA testing, also known as Cologuard. This is done every three years and looks at altered DNA and the presence of blood in your stool. This is done about once every three years. But please remember with stool testing, there is a chance for falsely positive or falsely negative test results. And if you have a positive test result, you will still need a colonoscopy. Now, for looking directly at the colon, there's virtual colonoscopy with radiology and colonoscopy. Colonoscopy is the gold standard. And you may ask me, why is colonoscopy the gold standard? That is because it is not only a screening test, but a diagnostic tool. During a colonoscopy, we can look for the presence of colon cancer and also look for colon polyps and remove them. This can help decrease future risk of developing colon cancer. So during a colonoscopy, we can remove a polyp before it ever has the chance of becoming colon cancer. So hopefully from this video, you see how important it is for you to get colon cancer screening. It is truly something that can save your life. Please remember to always be an owner of your health and your best advocate. Don't wait for your medical provider to ask you about screening for colon cancer. Tell them that you want to prevent colon cancer and you want to be screened. Now here at Hopkins, we are experts in the field of digestive health, including colon cancer. We value your health and would be happy to guide you through the options for colon cancer screening and perform your next colonoscopy. Thank you.